Hey guys, so we're back doing another Two Looks One palette, and this time it's featuring the Alter Ego Aurora palette, and it looks like this. So this is one of those off chances that I actually happen to have the palette that this is meant to dupe. And this palette is meant to dupe the Natasha Denona Sunset palette, and this is gorgeous. The Sunset palette is just a little too dark for me in my opinion. I am going to use this today. Here is the Natasha Denona Sunset palette. So you can see mine's dirty because of Kai, sorry. But it's the same tones of red, really, honestly, on, on the packaging. And here is the Natasha Sunset palette, and here is the Ultra Ego palette. So you can see very, very similar, although the color placement is off. So I went into this, and this palette is literally this palette backwards. Like, it's literally this row to this row. They switched these two up for the last row, but it's literally backwards. And the colors are almost spot on in the same place in the rows. And I think they moved like two or three shades in the rows. Uh, I'm totally okay with dupe brands. I think that this brand would make it more access, like a Natasha Denona palette more accessible if you like the color story and you're just not interested in the formulation. Because Natasha does come up with unique formulations. So I'm excited to do two looks with this. Um, I'm excited to see what I can create. I have a halo eye for one, so I'm using my Jeffree Star Cosmetics C0 Conceal Magic Star C0 Concealer, and that is what I am using as a eye primer. This palette does have a mirror. I did blend it out using a Natasha Denona palette, or Natasha Denona brush from my mini Valentine's or mini crush palette or kit. So I know for a fact I'm going in with this shade. So I want to do a yellow halo eye around it. So I'm going to take the shade Shine right here, which is the lightest. I mean, I've said it before, these palettes have little to no fallout whatsoever. And it's so, so nice. Like, this really does seem like a good formula. So, I'm trying to use this as a transition shape. Okay, so I'm going to take Sunburst. I'm just going to go for all the yellows on this one eye. And, oh my gosh, like, no kickback whatsoever. It's, these palettes, like, I can already tell you, are going to be favorites. I am glad that I have this palette because I don't use the Sunrise palette from Natasha just because the shades are so dark. So maybe this will push me to use that more. I'm gonna use Soul right here. There's a little kickback. Oh my god. So happy to have these. Okay, so I'm gonna take Soul and I'm going to put it everywhere on the lid as well because I want matte around that duo chrome shade. Alright, so I'm going to take Dawn, the shade right here. It's that duochrome shade. It's so gorgeous. It honestly looks prettier in my Alter Ego palette than in the Sunset palette. So all I'm doing is placing this in the center because I told you guys I wanted a halo eye. Oh, that's so pretty. Going back into Sunburst and trying to lighten it up. So that way it doesn't look so much. Mm. I'm just going to take Shine. On my lower lash line. Sunburst. My e.l.f. blending brush, is, by the way, is what I'm using. And then Soul. Uh, 
So I'm gonna take my Real Techniques detailer brush and take Ambient, or no, this is Brilliance. Use that for a brow bone highlight. Should have did my brows, honestly. I'm gonna do my brows. Cleaning that off, I'm gonna take Dawn. And <laughs> so pretty. I like this eye. It's just it's missing something, honestly, for me, and I don't know what it is. But I am going to play with the darker reds in this palette now. So I'm going to actually put a little bit of a base down. I'm using Wet n Wild's Mega Liquid Cat Suit in When Stars Align, and I just lightly put it around there. So all I'm doing is blending it out with my finger, and yes, I mix that with other colors. I just wanted a little bit of a darker base. My dad is home, so I can now get my parents' opinion. So, this has something to stick to now, so I'm going to take Cosmic on my finger, and I'm going to... Oh, that into a lid. Oh my god, that looks so nice. I'm going to take... I want to play with Ray. I'm going to take gray, which is this metallic red. Put that in the center. Didn't really do much. Didn't really do much. I'm going to take this Wet n Wild crease brush, and I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to take Nova. And you know, my mother's name is Nova. So that's it. And I'm going to put this in the crease, blend out that base. Wow, this actually is working so nice together. This is a really nice formula. This is such a nice formula. I hope that this brand doesn't go out of business. I'm afraid that they are because I follow them on Instagram and they haven't made a new product in like two years. Taking Twilight, they do have a really nice formula though. Definitely would recommend them over Natasha Denona's $65 price range. I honestly do not think that anybody would ever notice a difference. I mean, nobody's going to go up to you and be like, girl, are you wearing Natasha Denona? No, no one's going to go up to you like that. But, I mean, if you wanted to advertise that you were wearing Natasha Denona's Sunset Palette and you or the Sunrise Palette and you didn't want to spend the money, I don't think that they would be anybody would really be able to point out the difference in the palettes if you had this one on your eyes as opposed to the Sunset one. As long as you're not showing them it. Because, obviously, there is a significant difference in the packaging, like you can see the difference in the packaging. To mention, um, the colors are changed. So I'm going to take Stellar right here. I'll put that as a brow bone. And I need to, I'm going to just take no additional product. The mirror in this is so nice. I find myself looking so close. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I really like this palette. I find my, that I will be reaching for this palette probably a little bit more than the Sun Rise palette from Natasha Denona. But I'm really curious as to what you guys think. Are we into this sun look? Like I said, I feel like there is something missing in this look. I just don't know what it is. Or are we into this look? This is a little bit dark for me. So are we in, which look are we feeling? Are we feeling the sun look or are we feeling this red look? Sun or red? And let me know what you guys think about the Alter Ego palettes. They're so nice. They really, really are. This was such a nice surprise today. So, um, yeah. Let me know what you guys think and um, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye, you guys.